Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 7 of What's Up With My Travel Bugs. In this episode, I have some very back and forth news about some of my travel bugs. So, stay tuned. Alright, so welcome to episode 7. I am Haklova and let's get started. So with Aggravating Alfred, eFamily19 discovered on YouTube, hi guys, uh, Monkey Trails picked him up and then they traveled together for a bit before being placed in a cache in Nevada. That cache has since been muggled. So yeah, apparently George's Chew Joy uh, was down in at the Seattle block party event and then made its way back to almost the exact spot that it went missing from. So like two caches very very close to each other. Very weird and suspicious. Uh, two cachers did find the cache that it was placed in but each of them only had three finds and there was no mention of it. So I don't actually know if George's Chew Toy is back in action or not but it now has 4,019 kilometers and previously it had 4,012 kilometers. So nobody actually logged it in to the Seattle event. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we'll just have to wait and see uh, whether George's Chew Toy is actually back in action or this was just a load of crock. <laughs> So Haklova herself, that would be me. Alright, so between a little bit of cache maintenance here and there and placing a couple caches, I now have 9,208 kilometers. My 111111 multi-event geocoin is still missing in action in Germany. Um, there's been no sign of it just yet. And my 121212 multi-event geocoin is missing as well. Okay, so my MBGA 5th anniversary Geocoin. Shortly after my last What's Up With My Travel Bug video that I did, I received an email saying that it was alive and well. Um, it then went to Alberta and BC and apparently is now heading back to Edmonton, Alberta. So at last count, it has 2,504 kilometers. So my home team pride travel bug. I don't know if there's any additions to it. Nobody has actually mentioned that. Um, it was placed in a cache and then it traveled around with Woody06 and is now placed in another cache in Ontario. So it has 9,801 kilometers. Alright, so my Jeep Renegade, um, it has 8,211 kilometers. Alright, so vroom vroom to Sweden. Uh, Captain Crunch and K grabbed it from the cache that it was in. Um, and moved it to a more active cache where it was discovered and then picked up by Puppet48 who has plans of going to Atlantic Canada. So it's back in action and moving around and hopefully maybe might get out to Sweden sometime in the next 10 years. It currently has 9,902 kilometers. Alright, so Cookie Monster did some more traveling with I Can Never Remember in Michigan and Illinois. It was discovered on YouTube. And then it was placed in a travel bug hotel in Illinois, which may or may not have gotten muggled. So, I don't know whether Cookie Monster's there either. Currently has 10,814 kilometers. So, Tiny Good Bite. He was placed in a cache not too far from where I was actually fishing yesterday. And so, I should have stopped in and visited him and made sure he was all in one piece, but I, I, I didn't. Maybe next time, if he's still out there. So yeah, he currently has 9,741 kilometers. My 11-12-13 multi-event geocoin. This is the events, events, events one. Uh, it wants to go to events. And it was placed in a cache in Ontario and was discovered during GeoJ Gnome's 2000th cache find. So congratulations to you guys. Awesome job. <laughs> So that one currently has 10,814 kilometers. All right, so this one's pretty good news. My 11, 12, 13 multi eventual coin, the yellow one, that is entitled Destination the William Six. So Torbram continued their travels and went to a meet and greet and then placed it in a cache. Um, 
Now, if I did the math right, and I think I might have, <laughs> um, I think it's only about 800 kilometers away from the William 6. So, it's getting close, 800 kilometers. <laughs> And that one has 2,989 kilometers. So my brand new stuffed animals that I bought and I put out as trackables for uh, the children's hospital because I thought they were so cute and I thought they'd make great trackables because or travel companions because you can just put them on your backpack and travel with them. Um, they went missing right out of the cache that I put them in. I don't know. What is up with these people? <laughs> Alright, so slip by me. Um, this is the Tupperware shoehorn that is hopefully going to be heading over to Bushwalker in Australia. Um, Lost in the Garden picked it up and left him at the third, the third international Earth Cache mega event. Um, where it was discovered by a load of people and then picked up by the voucher who wrote and said that they just so happened to maybe be able to get this travel bug a lot closer to South Australia in a few weeks. So my fingers are crossed and my eyes are on my email and we'll see if we can get, if he's going to get this guy closer to South Australia. So that would be super cool. Um, so it currently has 2,358 kilometers. So Lost in the Garden also grabbed this one and it was placed in a cache in Ontario uh, and it has 1,722 kilometers. So my car Zippy, my brand new little Geomobile, which is saving me a whole ton of gas with work, like no idea, you have no idea how much gas this 530 is. kilometers uh, of caching miles on it. I've only had it since the beginning of August and we're uh, like 4,000, 5,000 kilometers already. So, all right. so, so um, that's pretty much all the news that I have. Uh, the only thing else going on is that I have two new trackables, two new ERD trackables that I'm getting ready to release. One of them has a fish bones uh, tag on it and it is the re remnants of my Trekker space pen. So this is, this is my new Trekker space pen that I've had for a little while. Um, my old one, I went to go use it one day and that's all I found. So I have put the cap <laughs> um, uh, out as a trackable and I'm going to let it go. Um, what should I do with it? Where should it go? What should it do? Any ideas? I'm not good at this part. Um, I love watching them travel and I love the stories that go along with them, but I don't know what to do with that one. So. Any ideas, guys? My other one is this cute little, I'll show it here, is this cute little teapot, um, and it's a tea steeper. And I found it at the lake, and I got it in the bottom of a drawer, and I am never going to use it. I have my own loose leaf tea brewer, and I am so not going to use that one. So I'm like, meh, random stuff. We'll put it out as a trackable. So that one is, don't know what the name's going to be, but like tea anybody or tea time or I don't know, something to do with tea because it's a little loose leaf tea brewer. Okay, so if you guys have any clue what I should put my, my fish bones trackable out as for a mission or a mission for my little tea steeper, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>